It's the address. The gallery's located near the Watertown Bridge. It's all the way over in West Venice, if I remember correctly. I'm gonna have to catch the Metro Line subway to get there. Das habe ich mir schon fast gedacht. Dann raus da, gucken wir uns mal die Jukebox an. It took some convincing, but Stan finally agreed to put the jukebox on free play. I'll just choose a track at random. Okay, das ist ein bisschen entspannter, glaube ich. Also reden wir noch mal mit Emma. Settle this one for us, April. When did Roy Dale release Sidetracked? Oh four, right after the Morning Star exile. Those sons of bitches with blood on their boots. Yeah, <laughs> told you so, Marcus. You said oh three. I was closer than you. Oh seven, and you call yourself a fan. I don't. Did you speak with Zach today? Why? He was upset. Called you a stuck-up bitch. He what? You gotta be kidding me! I wasn't even that rude to him. He thinks so. So that even if you came crawling to his door, he wouldn't give you the time of day. Said you called him an asshole. Oh God! I really don't know when to shut my mouth, do I? Who cares? It's Zach. He hates you. So what? No great loss. That's true. So what else is going on? What are you doing this afternoon? Actually, I came by to see if I could find Cortez. What's with you and this guy? You'd rather spend time with him than us? I have to find out what the message means. Don't look at me. I don't know anything except what I already told you. Ask Charlie. He spoke with Cortez earlier. Ja, das habe ich schon. Ich äh, weiß ja mittlerweile, wo ich Cortez finde. What are you doing? Staying here. What else? I'm meeting a friend later, but that's not until nine. We're waiting for Isabel, and then we're gonna eat. But I guess you're not hungry. No. Figures. I don't know why I even bother asking. Who's this friend you're meeting later? Don't tell me it's that guy you were out with last night. Are you gonna tell me I shouldn't get involved with men like him? No, no, of course not. I'm not your. You don't need me to tell you that, Emma. Well, I wish you would, 'cause you're right. I shouldn't. He's a bastard. But he's so cute and charming, and you know, very good in bed. I, I just can't help myself. But he's not a keeper. Don't worry about that. It's just this thing, just a fling. Mind if I ask you some questions, Emma? Like I don't tell you everything that's going on anyway. Of course you can ask me questions. Like, duh. What's your um uh, take on Cortez? My take on Cortez. What's that? Like a diplomatic way of saying what the f is this guy's glitch? Sure. Let's go with that one. You know, I think Cortez is a barrel of laughs in a good way. Everybody thinks they got him all figured out. You know, like he's the resident weirdo. But I know that just ain't true. I've talked with Cortez, and the guy is brilliant. He's weird, yeah, and he's up in the clouds, and I think he believes in aliens, which is cool. But girl, he's smart. I mean, I'm not talking professor smart here. I'm talking real life, seen it all, been there, done that, smart, useful, smart, experienced, smart. And ooh, I gotta tell you, the guy's cultured. Ask him about anything: art, music, movies, books. He's current on most topics. Which scares me because it seems he's always just, I don't know, hanging around doing nothing. He rarely goes anywhere. And it's like he's waiting for something, or someone. Yeah, maybe Jerry Garcia. <laughs> You're bad. No, I don't think he's a doper. I mean, listen to the guy. What he says may sound a little out there, but the way he says it. No, he's not on Amethyst. That's for sure. And one more thing. He is cute. He's what? Cute. Emma, he's like sixty. Did you ever see his eyes? Those are not the eyes of an old man. And so what if he's sixty? He's better looking than most of the guys I date, and so much nicer. 
Then I think you've been swimming in the shallow end of the gene pool for too long, Emma. I mean, come on, a 60-year-old screwball with a ponytail and an exotic accent? Hello? <sighs> well, we'll see. Did you speak with Charlie today? Yeah, for a few minutes. Why? Nothing. Just wondered is all. Uh, April, did he say anything to you at all? About what? About... Um, nothing. I mean, I don't know anything. Which isn't true because I, I don't lie, but he... Ugh, forget it. If we were having this conversation in a movie, I'd be going, like... Shit, girl, get your act together, open your eyes! But I don't think that's a good idea. Not in real life. Because real life has a nasty habit of hurting people's feelings. Did you finish your sculpture for the exhibit? Pretty much. I'm happy with it, and I know that if I go back and keep working on it, I'll just kill it. So I think I'll leave it alone. You? You know what? Don't ask. I'm praying it'll finish itself one of these days. Sure. Could happen. It could so happen. But I wouldn't count on it. <sighs> I'll have it ready in time. Yes, you will, or I'll kick your ass so hard that you'll... Okay, I got it, I got it! Thanks for the inspiration. Thanks, Emma. Thanks for what? For talking to you? Girlfriend, what the hell is the matter with you? Snap out of it! I have a couple of more questions. Yes, Inspector? That's it. I gotta run. See you around, stranger. Okay, das ist ziemlich viel Gequatsch jetzt für den Anfang, aber das äh, zeigt uns so ein bisschen den Status Quo. Das ist, äh, naja, immer noch die Exposition ein bisschen. Okay, also, wir haben Geld, wir haben dieses Ticket und wir haben die, äh, die Station, wo wir quasi aussteigen müssen. Zwischen ihr und Charlie könnte was laufen, wenn sich beide mal drauf einlassen würden. Emma ist ihre beste Freundin. Alles klar. Ja, es macht alles Sinn. Es ist alles relativ organisch, finde ich. Aber dieser Cortez... To the subway. Dieser Cortez ist irgendwie komisch drauf. Er ist kulturell, er kennt sich aus mit modernen Sachen, dabei macht er nie was. Und jetzt muss er mich unbedingt sprechen, weil ich irgendwie... Ja, warum eigentlich? Das wird sich hoffentlich zeigen. Also ab in die U-Bahn. Diesmal dürften wir ja die Kohle haben für ein Wochenticket. Gene Scanner. I'll get a weekly pass, just in case. So, Kreditkarte oder Cashkarte? 15 dollars subtracted from cash card. You are now free to travel on all Metroline subways for exactly one week. And remember, genetic forgery is a federal crime. Keep your genes clean. Have a nice day. Okay. Keep your genes clean. Ja, momentan noch eine ziemlich verstörende Zukunftsvision. Wer weiß, wie weit das noch entfernt ist. So, was ist das hier? Sparks? Funken? Into Train. So, West Venice war der äh, Zielpunkt. Schauen wir mal. Ja, wie Sie sehen, sehen Sie nichts. Doch, jetzt sehe ich was. Was ist das hier? Subway Map. Da sitzt jemand. Ja, well, it is pretty rad, isn't it? Rad. Okay. Um. The screen really is ubiquitous. There's no escape anywhere. <lacht> Sweet old ladies just ain't what they used to be. Ah, okay. Ah, ich verstehe. Hier kann ich kann ich offenbar reisen. 
Uh, East Venice, da komme ich her. Watertown Bridge, da war diese Kunstausstellung. Oh ja, das ist offensichtlich ein Künstlerviertel. Newport Transit Systems. Da geht's nicht lang. Another victim of Amethyn. Amethyn. Offensichtlich irgendeine Art von Droge hier. Poor guys drugged out on Amethyn. They say the first motor function to suffer is always rhythm. <lacht> das kriegt er nicht mehr so richtig hin. Big sound from such a small box. Poor guys drug, poor guys drugged out. Ja. Okay, da ist eine Tür. Ah, hier, das sieht schon aus. Oh, Moment, Moment, Moment. Ne, hier gibt's nichts, also doch in die Tür. Das sieht schon so aus, als wäre es irgendwie eine Kunstausstellung. Hello, Sir. Sir. I'll just leave my ticket here then, shall I? Yes. Yes, I guess I'll do that. Ja, was soll jetzt? Zwei eh umsonst. Ähm. Neat. Slow day, I guess. <lacht> Der hat nicht viel zu tun. It's a pointy-edged swan. Aha. It's a short, nude creature with a snout. Very inspiring. There's absolutely nothing out there. Nothing. Oh, there's a city, an entire world even. But nothing. <lacht> Bisschen sarkastisch vielleicht. So, was haben wir hier? Ach, da haben wir schon Cortez. Gibt es hier noch irgendwas? Nee, okay, dann reden wir mal mit Cortez. Ja, komm. Lauf mal. About time you showed up. About time? I spent more than... Mira, this painting. Right here. Look. Why? Just look at it. It's nice work. It's very nice, but there's more to it than nice. Keep looking. Keep looking? Yeah, okay. Who's the artist? A boy named Warren Hughes. Not so long ago, I knew him and his family quite well, but he does not paint anymore. What am I looking for? What do you see? Uh, was sehe ich? A guy hugging a girl, yeah. An oil painting of two humans locked in an embrace. So kann man es auch ausdrücken. A statement on loss. Art. <lacht> um, also ich sehe... Um ehrlich zu sein, hätte ich nicht mal das gesehen. Wenn man es mir nicht vorgehalten hätte. A guy hugging a girl. I see a guy hugging a girl. And? They're probably boyfriend, girlfriend, and she's dumping him. He looks really depressed. Yes, yes. Forget the story. What do you see? Hey? Uh, okay. Ich verstehe gerade nicht, was er meint, aber ich gehe das hier mal durch. See an oil painting of two humans locked in an embrace. That's all you see? But there's so much more. Look. Look. Hä, hey, was, 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 was meint er denn? I see a statement on loss. The guy, he's hugging a girl. And by all rights, he should be happy. But he's not. He's probably already mourning the loss of her, even though that's still somewhere in his future. Statements? Who cares about statements? Tell me what you see. I see art. Art, yes. And beyond that, beyond art. Was? Uh, okay, illusion, truth, technique. Um, also technique is wahrscheinlich nicht das, worauf er abzielt. Illusion oder truth? Naja, es ist ein Gemälde, also im Grunde illusion. Illusion. Skill and imagination allow the artist to create an illusion, but that is only skin deep. Beneath the illusion, what else is there? Äh, die Wahrheit? Truth? Truth, exactly. A deeper truth. This painting, 
This particular work of art speaks a deeper truth. It has a soul. How can a painting have a soul? It has a soul because it has an identity. It has a heart. The memory of this painting will survive beyond this moment. It will linger in your mind, become part of the tapestry of your subconscious. It has made a lasting impression on you, and you're not quite sure why. It's just a painting by some kid. It's not as if it's a Picasso or a Monet. Now you're arguing technique. Not every painting by Van Gogh or Michelangelo is real art either, although they all demonstrate great technique and, and craftsmanship. And the scribbled drawings of a five-year-old child are rarely technically impressive, but they may still have a soul. They may still be real art. So you're saying real art is not defined by the skill of the artist? Then what is art? If just anybody can create something more real than artists who spent their entire lives developing their skills? Art is still the work of artists. And skill, craftsmanship, technique, those things are critical to the success of an artist's work. But alone, those things are merely pretense. For something to be real, to be truthful, the artist must transfer, shift part of him or herself into the work to transcend the illusion and reach for the truth of art. And what is the truth of art? Who knows? I've been asking myself that question for years. Excuse me? You don't even know? And what's all this about all the questions and lectures on truth and illusion? For that matter, why did you ask me to come down here in the first place? Because... Actually, you didn't even ask me to come down. I spent my entire afternoon traveling all over Venice, deciphering a cryptic message, spending money I don't have on a subway ticket, only to have to stand here and listen to... to... You saw something this afternoon. A waking dream, and you can't explain it. That's why you are here, isn't it? How the hell do you know these things? It's as plain as the day, Senorita Ryan. You're under a lot of stress. My point about art and truth is this, April. Some things look real, but are not. And other things may appear to be of no consequence at all, but are in fact invaluable. Like Warren's painting here, and your dreams. There is both truth and illusion in dreams, and in the images they create. The problem is in sorting the one from the other. You're telling me my dreams are true? I'm telling you there are things afoot, and that you need help in sorting the truth from the illusions. My help. Well, that figures. Good. I was hoping you'd understand. No. Actually, I didn't understand a single word. You talk about art, and truth, and dreams, and illusions, and I still don't understand what it all has to do with me. There are things happening, yes, and I came here because I thought, maybe you're crazy enough to believe me, to help me. I don't know, sort through the debris and come up with the plausible explanation. But no, you tell me my dreams might be true, that I need your help, and that there are things afoot. I mean, who says afoot? I've never heard anybody use the word before. There are things afoot. Está bien. I understand your reluctance to believe me, senorita. But I cannot convince you here, now. Meet me tomorrow. What? Meet me tomorrow, and I will tell you everything. Not again. No way. But you will. Because you are compelled to do so by your own curiosity. Because you are drawn to mystery. And because despite your skepticism, you believe I have the answer to all your questions, yes? No. No, I don't care. I just want to have a normal life. No nightmares, no visions, no strangers telling me that things are afoot. Comprende, amigo? <laughs> Ay, Dios mío. Is that the time? I've got to run, Senorita Ryan. I'll see you tomorrow, then. I said... Goodbye. Yeah. Things are a foot. Ah, uh, okay.
Okay. Gucken wir uns nochmal das Gemälde an. Ha. Aber hier gibt es nichts mehr zu sehen. Things are a foot. Sicher, sonst würden wir dieses Spiel nicht spielen. Sonst wäre die Geschichte relativ schnell vorbei. Wenn ich sagen würde, auch nö, der spinnt bestimmt. Und nichts mehr in die Richtung unternehmen würde. Ähm... Okay. Dann würde ich mal behaupten, fahren wir wieder zurück. Und gehen nochmal ins Borderhaus. Ähm, Venice East oder East Venice. Äh, da geht's in den Park. Da geht's to the bridges. So, die Skater sind weg. Mit den anderen Leuten kann ich nicht, nichts machen. Okay, bevor wir jetzt ins Borderhaus gehen, äh, mache ich nochmal eine kleine Pause. Äh, wie gesagt, viel, viel gequatsche jetzt am Anfang. Ähm, das hilft aber enorm, die Story voranzutreiben. Das, äh, ja, ich weiß nicht, ob sich das noch ändern wird, ob, äh, ob das Gequatsche weniger wird. <lacht> Beziehungsweise, ich bin mir nicht sicher. Wie gesagt, ich habe das Spiel schon gespielt. Aber man hat es ja gerade gehört. Uh, things are a foot. Es, ist, es bahnt sich etwas an. Uh, sie träumt. April träumt komisch. Dieser Cortez weiß offensichtlich irgendwas. Deutet es an, aber er weiß, dass April ihm jetzt noch nicht glaubt. Ich... Uh Prophezeie mal, dass sich das noch ändern wird. Dass da tatsächlich etwas auf dem Weg ist. Aber wie gesagt, das sehen wir dann das nächste Mal. Für heute würde ich sagen, vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen und vielleicht bis zum nächsten Mal.